वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टीच द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर फॉर टेंथ क्लास द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज आर ट्राइम्फ ऑफ सर्जरी ट्राइम्फ मीन्स विक्ट्री ऑफ सर्जरी मीन्स अ काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट रीडिंग द चैप्टर आई वॉज रियली वरीड अबाउट रिकी दिस टाइम I had pulled up my car when I saw in the street with his mistress and I was shocked at his appearance he had become hugely fat like a blotted sausage with a leg at each corner his eyes bloodshot and rheumy stared straight ahead and his tongue lolled from his jaw students there are three characters in this story number first tricky tricky was a dog and he is seriously ill number 2 mrs pumphrey she is the owner of tricky number 3 a veterinary surgeon means a doctor of pets mr harrett so the story teller is mr harrett i was really worried about tricky this time he says tricky was a small pet dog of mrs pumphrey and he is seriously ill and so that the doctor is worried about the dog one day the veterinary surgeon saw her means mrs pumphrey with his dog with her dog he became hugely fat he became hugely fat like blotted sauces blotted means a swollen piece of flesh his eyes bloodshot and rheumy his eyes were red and rheumy rheumy means water dropping from his eyes he was he was so ill so that he was looking only ahead and his tongue lolled from his jaws mrs pumphrey hastened to explain he was so listless mr harrett he seemed to have no energy i thought he must be suffering from malnutrition so i have been giving him some little extra between meals to build him up some malt and cod liver oil and a boil of horlicks at night to make him sleep nothing much really when mrs pumphrey saw the veterinary doctor is reaching near by her she explained that her dog became weak so that she was giving her some extra food like cod liver oil like horlicks a bowl of horlicks at night to make him sleep and here malt means a liquid like beer and did you cut down on sweet things as i told you oh i did for a bit but he seemed to be so weak i had to relent he does love cream cakes and chocolate so i can't bear to refuse him the doctor asked her if she was giving her a little relaxation in food he then he inquired if she had cut down the sweets sweet things from his diet she replied that she see uh, he seemed to be so weak so that she had given a little relaxation the only fault of tricky was his greed he never deny food i looked down again at the little dog that was the trouble tricky's only fault was greed he had never been known to refuse food he would tackle a meal at any of the day or night and i wondered about all the things mrs pumphrey hasn't mentioned here the doctor looked down at the dog and he was looking like a trouble he had never been known to refuse food he was so greedy his he would tackle a meal at any hour of the day and night means he used to eat each and everything that he likes and at the any hour are you giving him plenty of exercise well we has his little walks with me 
sorry he has a little walk with me as you can see but hot king the gardener has been down with lumbago so there has been no ring throwing lately lumbago means back pain here the doctor asked her if she was giving her plenty of exercise she said that he had a little walk with her due to the back pain gardener's health is down so that he is not doing ring throwing i tried to sign sound sever now i really mean this if you don't cut his food right down and give him more exercise he is going to be really ill you must harden your heart and keep him on the very strict diet then doctor strictly said if you don't cut his food and give him plenty of exercise he is going to be seriously ill he advised her to be very strict to comply with the with his diet mrs pumphrey wrung her head oh i will mr herrett i am sure you are right but it is so difficult so very difficult she set off her head down along the road as if determined to put the new regime into practice immediately now mrs pumphrey express her willingness to abide by her advice here when doctor said her to cut his meal she said it is a little difficult so she sat down his head and she started walking across the road because it was very difficult to follow the new regime regime means uh, a new diet and new exercise i watched their progress with growing concern tricky was tottering along in his little tweed coat he had a whole wardrobe of these coats for the cold weather and a raincoat for the wet days he struggled on drooping in his harness i thought i wouldn't be long before i heard from mrs pumphrey now the dog was seriously ill the doctor watched their progress with growing concern means when they were walking on the road doctor was looking at them tricky was tottering tottering means he was moving in unsteady way he was tottering along in his little tweed coat he he had many coats in his wardrobe for cold weather and a raincoat for rainy days he struggled on drooping in his harness harness means the clothes are, uh, that are for decoration so he wore a cloth uh, wore a coat and he was looking drooping in these uh, in this coat i thought it wouldn't be uh, long before i heard from mrs pumphrey doctor was expecting very soon mrs pumphrey will made a call to him the expected call came within a few days mrs pumphrey was distraught tricky would eat nothing refused even his favorite dishes and besides he had blot of vomiting he spent all his time lying on the rug panting didn't want to go for walk didn't want to do anything within a few days she called the doctor she was worried because dog left eating his meal and he was not not going for walks he was not doing anything only lying on the rug rug means a, a kind of carpet and also he has a bout of vomiting he was in a pity be pitiable condition i had made a plan in advance the only way was to get tricky out of the house for a period i suggested that he be hospitalized for about a fortnight to be kept under observation the doctor suggested mrs pumphrey that the dog would 
dog would be hospitalized for a fortnight fortnight is a period of 15 days the poor lady lady almost swooned she was sure he would pine and die if he did not see her every day the poor lady became faint swooned means faint she was sure that the dog would die if he did not see her but i took a firm line tricky was very ill and this was the only way to save him in fact i thought it is the best to take him without delay now the doctor strictly said the doctor uh, the dog is very ill it was best to take him away without delay followed by mrs pumphries wheeling i marched out to the car carrying the dog wrapped in a blanket saying these words doctor has had left the place he took the dog and started walking toward his car the entire staff was roused and made rushed in and out bringing his day bed his night bed favorite cushions toys and rubber rings breakfast bowl lunch bowl supper bowl realizing that my car would never hold all the stuff i started to drive away as i moved off mrs pumphrey with the despairing cry threw an armful of the little coat through the window i looked in the mirror before i turned the corner of the drive everybody was in tears the servant brought his day bed his night bed his favorite cushions toys rubber ring breakfast bowl lunch bowl supper bowl realizing that the car will not hold all this stuff the doctor started driving as he moved off mrs pumphrey threw some coats through the window and now the doctor moved on when the doctor looked in the mirror before he turned to the corner he saw everyone was sad and everyone was in tears out on the road i glanced down at the pathetic little animal gasping on the seat by my side i patted the head and tricky made a brave effort to wag his tail poor old lad i said you haven't a kick in you but i think i know a cure for you the doctor while driving had a look on the dog he patted his head he was ill so that he did a little effort to wag his tail he didn't have energy and doctor said there is no kick in you kick means there is no energy in you but i know how to care for you